I'll start by saying that a couple people have brought up some requests. Someone wanted me to do Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I'll get to that this week or next. And, but brief thoughts. Winnie the Pooh is sweet and harmless, but I personally never really got into it. Someone wanted me to do Backyard Baseball. And when I looked that up, I didn't find any movies, but it, I did find a video game. I don't really do video games. It's not really my focus. So if, if it's a movie, let me know which version. But if it's a video game, I'm not going to do it. It's just not my thing. And there'd be a lot of editing. Uh, someone wanted me to do their music that I can do. Happy to support a small channel. If I'm happy to take requests, may or may not get to it. I make no promises. But I like to see what I can do. And if I forgot something, oh yes, and there's been a couple Angela Anaconda rewatch episodes. Most of the show I will get to. So, if there are other requests, just remind me. May or may not do them. See where my schedule takes me. Because this is such a casual and formal thing. But anyway, now talking about what I wanted to talk about tonight. So, for every rule, there's an exception. And I've made fun of shows with puppets a couple times, particularly shows where there's only one puppet, especially if that puppet's the lead, it tends to freak me out. Kino's Storytime and Crash and Bernstein are good examples of this. Kino's Storytime I still find weird. Puppet still creeps me out because he gets way too close to the camera and why is he the only puppet? Crash and Bernstein have a similar feeling. Of, if you like the show, that's awesome. I didn't grow up with it, but when I did check it out, I wasn't a fan. Didn't like the character, found it unnecessarily mean. The puppet still creeps me out, gets too close to the camera. <laughs> so, those are my thoughts on that. But the one exception to that is Cousin Skeeter. It's a show from the 90s. It's another show where there's one main puppet in the cast. There's actually two puppets. There's a recurring character named Nicole. I didn't watch this show too much because when it came out, and when it was airing, I only wanted to watch animated shows. I had no interest in live action whatsoever. And... Then I found the show kind of funny, then I found it really funny, then I found it boring, and then I checked it out again. I forgot about it for many years. And I find it kind of funny. The comic timing's good. Skeeter actually doesn't freak me out. I, I find the puppet pretty likable. I think the voice is a little cartoony, but the puppet's pretty likable. I think it's because he gets subjected to a lot of violence. He's on the receiving end of a ton of slapstick. The comic timing's actually quite good in the show. And I think part of it's the nostalgia factor. I did watch this show with some family friends growing up. And they really liked it. And the times we watched it, I'd see the better episodes. I did see some particularly funny moments. And even checking it out again, I do find it kind of fun. It's got this 90s weirdness and a charm to it. It's got this weird creativity. And the puppetry on Skeeter is quite good. He doesn't get too close to the camera, which is very nice. He's particularly likable. He's trying to be cool, but he's a bit of a dork. Yeah. Um, I got it on my computer right now. There's a laugh track. fun with it. it. There seems to be, when I hear the voice, I hear there's a ton of fun. He, he's ha he sounds like he's having fun with this. He sounds like he's enjoying himself. He sounds like he's in the moment. So, that and like I said, Skeeter is on the receiving end of a ton of slapstick, which is a ton of fun to watch. I find it very, very expressive. He acts like a cartoon. By the way, in case you're wondering, the episode I have right in front of me is Blast from the Past. The one moment I really remembered that I thought was very funny as a kid, Skeeter and his friends are in a spaceship and they're not supposed to press this red button. I think it's self-destruct. So Skeeter decides to write on a post to note, do not press, and sticks it on the button and presses it. <laughs> it's a stupid little joke, but it got a big laugh out of me. Even remembering it, I found that really funny. Yeah, it's a show that I'm surprised doesn't get more attention because it's a cute show. I wonder, I don't really know a ton about it. 
fact, you know what? Oh, by the way, the the man who played the dad in That's So Raven, he's in this, Rondell Sheridan. So, crossover, maybe. Just a sweet slice of life show, ton of fun, good comic timing, likable puppet. I'm surprised more people don't talk about this. It seems to be a show that's gotten pretty forgotten over the years. Huh. Don't really know why. It's a fun show. I thoroughly enjoyed it.